Hey babe. Hey babe. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You didn't tell me you were coming. Please sit. How are you? I'm fine. I was about going to lunch before you came, so it's good. Oh, okay. I came to tell you something. Uh, is everything all right? Because you don't look happy. I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? Yes. For me? Yes, I am. <laughs> Babe, that's good news! <laughs> that is good news! Why are you sad? What about my parents? It's going to be good news to them, you know. What? What did you just say? I'm pregnant, Daddy. You are pregnant? And who is responsible for it? Benson. Benson? Why will you do a thing like that? When you know fully well that you are not married to him yet? Daddy, hey? I'm sorry. Keep, keep, keep quiet! Is this how you are going to pay me back? I've been taking care of you since your mother died. I've been the one shouldering everything. I've been giving you everything. So what's your problem? Now listen to me. I have built a solid reputation for myself all through the years. And I will not spare anyone that will attempt to rubbish that reputation. That includes you. Nonsense. Dad. Dad, 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 please wait. Dad. Daddy! Hey, don't even go there. Please let me talk to you for a minute. Dad, please wait. Dad! Hmm. You know, your, your uncle called today. Oh my goodness. He said he must be around. He has to be available. That nothing can stop him not to be on ground for your wedding and the wife said she's going to buy lots of the uniform that all her friends must be part of it and you know what some of my friends also said that Benson Benson you're not even listening to me uh, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. what is it are you okay yeah I'm fine Mom. Come and talk to me. Come talk to Mama. Hmm? You can talk to me. What is it? I have something bothering me, Mom. Talk to me. Uh, it's, it's Chelsea. Is she okay? She, uh, yeah, she... Chelsea, she... she what? Is she okay? She's sick. She has malaria? Uh, malaria... Yeah, yeah she's... Uh, she's... She... She missed... She missed her period, Mom. She, she's pregnant for me. But, but, but she's not happy about it. She, she, she told me she, she, she's not happy about it because 
I mean, even though we're supposed to be married, she, she's still not, she's not happy about it that her parents are against pregnancy before wedding. And I am supposed to be happy? Bessie, am I supposed to be happy? You know that as a Christian mother, a devoted Christian mother, it's against my faith, against our faith as Christians. I know, Mom, I know, but it, it just happened. She's my fiance. But what's wrong in her being pregnant for me? We're supposed to get married. My, my Shut your mouth! What do you mean, what's wrong? How could you? Bessing, are you out of your mind? Are you my son? Or some demon is speaking through you? How could you get yourself into such nonsense? I'm talking to you. I'm sorry, Mom. It just happened. Oh, shut up! It just happened? When you took off your singlet, you took off your shirt, you took off your belt, and took off your knickers? It just happened? Sorry, Mom. Oh, shut your mouth! How could you lose your morals? You are not the son that I gave birth I said that the interpretation of your dream is that you never get married. Benson. Mom. Oh, Chelsea. Good afternoon, dear. You're welcome. Uh, uh, Benson, you didn't tell me that she was coming. I'm sorry, Mom. You escaped my mind. Well, you should have told me she was coming and I was started preparing food on time. All right, you know what? I'll just go back to the kitchen and hurry up with the cooking, okay? Okay, Ma. I'm coming to join you soon. Okay, relax. I'll see you. Okay? Okay. Yeah, I'm escaping my mind. Yeah, so... Did you tell your parents about the pregnancy? Yes, I did last night. What did they say? Mom is still trying to process the whole thing. I don't know. And your father? He's really angry and he wants to see you as soon as possible. That's why I actually came. He wants to see me? Yes. What do you think he wants to say to me? I don't know. I just know he's angry, so you should get to see him as soon as possible. Yeah. Mm. You know what? We'll talk mm. about this later. Let me go join him in the kitchen. Oh, all right. Thank you. Women business, huh? Uh, 
fancy. Mm -hmm. I came to assist you. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm practically done cooking, okay? Oh, okay. Well, let me just stay back and savour the aroma of the soup then. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it looks like you like cooking, eh? Yes, I do. Every woman should. Yes, everybody should. Both men and women. And by the way, that's how I brought up Benson. He's a fantastic cook, you know. Yeah, he told me that. <laughs> oh, well my done. goodness. Sorry, oh. Yeah? Uh, I have to rush out. Silas called, he needs a document, so I need to give it to him. How yeah. can you be going your whole fiancés around? She's in good hands, mom. I know that so much. Mm. Alright, right just give me a few minutes. Right, yeah. I'll be back. One minute. One minute is gone. You stay long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Alright. Uh, Help me with the plates on that side, okay? okay? Alright, thank you. Oh my. Here you go. Thank you so much, thank you. Okay. bad yourself thank you <laughs> what are you doing in my city oh well i live here now i came to open up a beauty shop wow yeah what about you i work with a telecommunication company mm, mm -hmm. that's great mm -hmm. <laughs> benson what ah, you just boned me shy you just stopped no, calling no, me no 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 you two you stopped calling remember don't say that i didn't stop <laughs> <laughs> well to be honest i lost your number let me be honest okay i I don't think I have your number too. You see? It's been what, like four years? Over four years! We only get my phone. I need to get your number. Wow. Oh my God, Benson! <laughs> hey! You're in my city. Benson Uchendu, look at you. Yeah! <laughs> Please let me have your number. <laughs> it's good to see you. Good babe. to see you. My son says you're pregnant with his child. I, I, yes, ma'am. Mm. Her, her father wants to see me. When? So. You have to go and see him. Told. Uh, if I don't um, say what I need to say, which should be the truth, then I'm not a true mother. As much as I have desired and have wanted grandchildren, I would have preferred that um, you got pregnant after wedding. Yes. It's not honorable to be pregnant before wedding. But be that as it may, I welcome the baby. Yeah. 
Go ahead, eat your food, eat your food. Eat your food. I mean, I didn't have you out of wedlock, did I? Um. Thank you. Are you sure you still want to go because it's raining? Uh, I have to go. I need to meet up with my appointment. Hmm. I just hope your father understands like my mother and not be mad at me. <laughs> you mean mad at us? We're in this together. It takes two to tango, you know. Yeah, I know. What do you think he wants to say to me? Say to us? Why are you excluding me? I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I just know he's very angry and disappointed at us. Well, the deed is done. There's nothing anybody can do about it. Maybe we should move the wedding date forward. <laughs> Why? No, don't decide yet. Let's just wait till we see him tomorrow. Okay? Just keep your mind at rest. All right. I have to go. Ah, Take care. I love you. Love you too. Bye. I'll call you, okay? Okay. Bye. He seems to be doing well for himself. How come he never crossed my mind all these years? I just forgot him. Hmm. Thank heavens I ran into him today. Hey, what's up? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Are you asleep already? Ah, uh, pretty much awake. Mm. It was really nice to see you today. I mean, it's been a long time. I would want to see you again, let's say tomorrow. Can you stop by at mine? We have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> well, I'm delighted to see you too. Um, so where do you stay? I stay at Afro Media. Do you know there? Of course I know there. That's, uh, it's close to New Heaven. Funny enough, I'm supposed to be in New Heaven tomorrow. Oh, uh, really? So, would you stop by? Of course, you have the intention to marry her. But I did not give you permission to get my daughter pregnant before marriage. 
I am highly disappointed that you guys could allow this to happen. When you know the exalted position that I hold in this society. I'm sorry, sir. Listen to me. Let me finish. As a veteran journalist, do you know how many publications I have written condemning marriage out of wedlock or pregnancy out of wedlock? Do you know? And all this uh, baby man, man syndrome. You can know. <laughs> I know you don't know. Now, it is my own daughter that is pregnant out of wedlock. You see? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I, it happened. Okay, it just happened. But I'm thinking we should move the, the wedding date forward. That way we can avoid some certain things. What, 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 what are you talking about? Are we talking about maybe a mushroom wedding here or what? Now, let me tell you. I only invited you here so that you would know how disappointed I am to your own hearing. You see this pregnancy of a thing. I don't want it in the public domain at all because I have a name to protect. Please. Okay, sir. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is nice. Thank you. <laughs> this place is really nice. Uh-huh. <laughs> sit, sit, go ahead. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Okay. So, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm all what right. What can I offer you? Uh, <laughs> I'm such a fool. Is everything okay? Uh, my friend, he was supposed to come and see me today at home. So I told him I'm with my ex. <laughs> and he was like, are we now celebrating World X Day? <laughs> such a clown. Wait, let me get something straight. Who is your ex? Me? Yeah. How? We're no longer together. But did we break up? We didn't break up. I mean, it was just lack of communication and distance that just, you know, happened between us. Come on. I thought you moved on. No. I haven't stopped loving you. Why? Yeah, so did you break up with me? Ah. Uh I wouldn't say we broke up. We didn't really break up the relationship. I mean, we stopped talking. Shh. And then... I missed you.
Hi, son. You're welcome. How did he go? What, what, what did he say? Eh? Um, can't talk right now. Let's talk later, okay? I want to be left alone. Did he call off the wedding? What exactly did he say? Mom, I just said I want to be left alone. Oh, talk to me now. Let me know. What did he say? Benson. Benson, what did he say? Good evening. Why did you do it? Hello? Are you there? Y yes. I can hear you. Can you please speak up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you, I can hear you. Okay. I asked you a question. Why did you do it? Uh, wh wh why did I do what? Why did you tell your mother my dad wants to cancel the marriage plans? Oh my God. Wait, uh, she, she said that? I, I didn't tell her anything like that. Because she called me and asked if my dad wanted to cancel the plans. I was shocked. Uh, <laughs> Mom, I only told her I didn't want to talk, that we will talk later. Why? Probably she just assumed and you, you see why I hate assumptions. Oh, parents. I, I, I hope your, 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 your parents, they didn't hear about this, did they? Come on, why would they... So, what are you doing now? Ah, uh, well, I'm just, I'm just home. I'm missing you, yeah. I'm missing you. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm just here, missing you. <laughs> I find it hard to believe how this girl lured me into her bed. I, I can't explain it. <laughs> Perhaps you are still in love with her. Look, look, come on, what are you saying? That's not it. I, 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 the moment I left there, all I felt was regret. I regret sleeping with her. Did moment. you tell her how you felt after the whole thing? No. No, I did not. But believe me, bro, believe me. I strongly regret this act. I'm telling you, look, I could not even look Chelsea in the eye this morning while I was talking with her. It is that bad. And this other lady, she wants us to pick up from where we stopped years ago. Then, tell her that you're getting married and cut her off completely. Yeah. Of course, that's what I would do. I'll cut her off immediately. Because Chelsea finding out I cheated on her is the last thing I ever want. I get you. See, all you need to do is let her know that you're taken. And if she doesn't want to understand that, stop taking her calls. Just... You got to hold your axe together, man. Yeah. What's wrong? You don't look happy. What happened between us the other day in your house? It shouldn't have happened. And I regret it. Why are you saying this? I am getting married very soon. I found a girl that I love. 
And I don't want us doing this. It has to end. In fact, it's ending. Don't you care about how I feel? What feelings are you talking about? Maureen, we broke up years ago. Stop. Stop. We never broke up. We just stopped talking to each other. Is that how you see it? Okay. Now let me make it clear. Simple. To you. Hmm? I quit. No, let's call it a quit right here and right now. Baby. Get, don't get your hands off me. Don't do this to me. I have found a better half. A woman I love and I don't want all this, all this distraction. It's not good. My wedding is coming up soon. So what happens to me? You can't do this. You can't. Unfortunately, yes. Benson. And rejecting me. <sighs> All my mates are married. I'm still single. And what still every man is rejecting me. What what have I done? <sighs> Am I not beautiful? I'm not beautiful enough. Okay, um, I have to um, be on my way now. Oh, okay, let me walk you to the door. Alright. Um, baby girl, I'm coming. Okay, Alright, take care. Alright, bye bye. So. Thanks for coming to check up on me. Anytime. But this is not just about checking up on you. I came to find out if you've changed your mind concerning what we discussed the other time. Please remind me. I asked you to please marry me. Come on, Donald. Babe, I'm dead serious about this. I have already given you my answer. You're my friend. Let's leave it at that. Chelsea, but I really love you. Besides, my spirit tells me you're my wife. Donald, I'm getting married to my fiancé pretty soon and I don't see myself marrying another person other than him. See, I respect you and you're a great guy. Let's not just ruin it, please. Chelsea, but you know I'm not a bad person. It's not about being a bad person or not. Let's not just talk about it again, please. Chelsea, but... Donald, please drop this matter. I'm starting to feel uncomfortable. It's fine, but hope I can still call you on the phone. Why not? You're still my friend. Alright. Okay. Okay. All Alright. Yeah. Give me a call when you get home, okay? I will. Bye. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. It's okay. Hope they are good. Oh. Hi, I'm good. So, as we were saying, mm. what shall I say? Yes? You know, I've been meaning to ask you. What is it? Are you having an affair with that guy? Juliet! Mm -hmm. Donald and I are just friends, nothing more. Really? Okay, because I don't understand that tense look in his face. There is nothing wrong with him, and we're good. We're just friends. Okay, if you say so. <clears throat> It's okay. Uh, so. so. Ah, 
What's up, man? Hey. Ah, uh, I hope you are not too busy for me today. That's not possible. Mm. I can't be too busy for you, bro. Ah, one again, can I? Do, do. Now I'm gonna bring one with a bot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No problem. That reminds me. Yeah. That your ex, does she still reach out to you? No. Why do you ask? Well, nothing. I just wanted to know. Well, I have not heard from her ever since I told her it's over between us, so... Okay. <clears throat> Open it. <laughs> this man. Uh... This man. <laughs> That's my little wedding gift for you. At least, let's start from there. You bought me a watch? Yes. <laughs> oh, look! Put the date. My man! So when is, when is the date? One day. I am the one that owes you. Mm. No, you don't have a problem. <laughs> what, what do you want to do? Anything. Uh, secretary! Yes, sir. Come in here real quick! Hi. Yeah, you said you wanted to see me. Please sit. I'd rather stand. Please go straight to the point. Okay. Good. So? I'm pregnant. Okay. Why are you telling me? Who's responsible for the pregnancy? You, of course. Who else? My goodness. Benson. Hi dear. Mom. Food is ready. Can I serve you food? No, Mom. Why? I don't have appetite to eat. So. Oh, come on. I made your favorite. Hmm? Mom, I'm not hungry, okay? Sure? Mm. It's not picking my calls. Pick up your phone. Uh -huh. It's nothing, Mom. It's nothing. Man. You don't want to pick your call? It's just work. Okay. But I made your favorite. Come on, you should I bring it? <laughs> eh? No, Mom. I'm not hungry. I'll let you know if I'm hungry, okay? Okay, baby. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness.
Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. I've been calling you since and you're not taking my calls. Yeah, I know. What is it? Please, what are we doing about this pregnancy? If I'm sick, I'm just feeling weak and wanting to sleep. Mm -hmm. Mom suggested I go to see a doctor. She said it could be the pregnancy. So what did the doctor say? Mm, he said I'm fine. I just need to eat well and rest well. You see? What? You see? Eat well. <laughs> eat well. Is that not what I've been telling you? You need to eat well. In the morning, we're taking ice cream. <laughs> In the afternoon, what's it called again? Pizza. <laughs> In the night, shawarma. Who does that? Come on, baby, you need to eat real food like pounded yam, fufu, a greasy soup. You know? No, no, this is not funny. Come on, baby, it's not funny. You need to start eating well, especially now you're pregnant. Me, stop taking ice cream and pizza. Not in this life, baby. Seriously? See, even if I'm carrying quadruplets in my womb, that won't stop me from taking ice cream and pizza. <laughs> hey! I have entered one chance, you. Okay. <laughs> Hope you're fine. Benson! Hmm. Morning. You thought I would find you, right? What are you doing here? Excuse me? What kind of question What's... is that? Um, this is my workspace. Uh, you just leave. I will call you later, please. Call. Please spare me. The same call you've been avoiding. What's, What's going on here? Uh... Benson. I'm pregnant for you. And I'm Pre here to know what to do about it. Pregnancy? Oh. Benson! She doesn't know what she's talking about. Excuse me. me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey! You slept with me and got me pregnant, and you sit here and say I don't know what I'm talking about. Will you stop this? I beg, talk. What are we going to do about this pregnancy? Huh? This is just a joke. This is just a joke. This is just a joke. Look at what he's saying. Uh, You're sitting down here and telling me I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my god. Babe, 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 please. Babe. I beg, don't push me. Babe, babe, please, listen, listen. supposed to me get out of my office Benson, I'm pregnant for you I said you should leave my office now I'm not going anywhere I will not go anywhere until we finish talking about why I am here Haba, you slept with me and got me pregnant why are you suddenly treating me like some piece of shit you lured me to your bed you so get your facts right <laughs> Benson. We had sex. And you enjoyed every bit of it. Now I'm pregnant. How come you're acting like a victim here? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I'm pregnant for you, Benson. But why are you doing this to me? My wedding is by the corner. Why are you doing this to me? Why? You have to take full responsibility for me and my child.
<laughs> so what is the problem? See, see. Talk to me. Talk to me. What is the problem? Dad. I'm your father. Talk to me. Dad, it's Benson. Benson, yes. Benson. What happened to Benson? A lady claims to be pregnant for him. Oh my God. No. Uh, this can't be true. How come? I, I was in his office, a, a lady just stormed in and, and, and accused him of, of getting her pregnant and he could not even deny it. He could not deny it, Dad. He could oh not. Oh, my God. Oh, good, Dad. <sighs> you know what, please, put, put, put yourself together. Hmm? Put yourself together. Take it easy. Take it easy. I will find a way out. Hmm? Just take it easy, yeah? Okay. Good. Oh, my God. Just take it easy, everything will be fine, right? Benson, calm down. Calm down. Just sit and tell me what it is. Okay? Did someone die? Just let it out. Mm. That lady was here. Which lady? Maury. Your ex? Silas. I'm in a mess. What happened? Just explain to me. I'm in a very big mess. What did you do? She's pregnant. What? She is pregnant. Greg! Oh my God. And Chelsea was here. Chelsea was here. She heard everything. She, she, heard, she heard everything, bro. Ah! Ah! What have I done? Baby, just speak. Pick up, okay?
Musa, Madam. why did you allow this man into the house? Madam Benson now. I don't understand. Did you inform me before? Madam see, next time you let this man into this house, you see what I'll do to you. You now get out! Madam. Leave here! I just need an audience, please. Audience? To say what exactly? Please, please. Wait. I know you're hurt. You feel bad, but allow me to explain what happened. Get out. Baby, you, you see, it's not my I fault. said get out! I'm begging you now, baby girl, please. Please, just allow, allow me to explain to you what happened, please. What do you have to say? What is happening here? Good evening, sir. Young man, is it true that some lady is pregnant for you? Sir, no, no sir. Look, I'm, I'm sure there is a misunderstanding somewhere. Sir, look, it's... Wait, 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 listen. The wedding is hereby cancelled for now because I can't have an irresponsible man for his son in law. Sir, please, sir, please, I'm begging. It has not got into that. Please, sir, I'm, I'm begging you. Listen, one more thing. You're coming to this place. We'll stop from now on. You are no longer welcome in this house. Fine now. Sir, so, please. Baby, baby, please, I'm begging you. Baby, don't, don't let them do this to us, please. Don't let that lady do this to us. She's trying to tear us apart. I'm begging you, baby. Baby, please. Is everything all right? Benson, is everything all right? What happened? Can you talk to me? I said, what happened? What? Are you not hearing me? Benson, talk to me. What is the problem? Benson, what is the problem? Talk to me. What's going on? They cancelled the wedding. What, what, what do you mean they cancelled the wedding? Who cancelled your wedding? The wedding is cancelled for now, Mom. Benson. Who cancelled your wedding? What do you mean the, the wedding is cancelled for now? Chelsea and her father. Jesus Christ. Why? Why, why did they cancel the wedding? Some lady is pregnant for me. What, 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 what do you mean some lady pregnant? What are you talking about? My ex mom, my ex is pregnant for me. And Chelsea found out about it. Salas, you don't understand. I love Chelsea so much. So much, I don't think I can live without her. Bro, I've invested so much in this our relationship. And I'm still shocked that this is happening to me. I still can't believe it. Benson, Benson, Benson. I get you. At least I can say that I understand how you feel. But one thing you have to know is that time is a great healer. This is your reality now. Mm -hmm. And you just have to face it. 
She lured me to sleep with her. I swear to you, bro. She lured me to sleep with her. It was never my intention. Unfortunately, not so many people cares about who lured who to the bed. The end thing now is that she is pregnant and you are responsible for it. I should have stayed home. Eh? should have just gone straight home. I shouldn't have gone to see her that day. I shouldn't have. You can blame her all you like for seducing you. But the truth is that you had a choice. You could have said no to her. But no. You chose to fail for her seduction. See. This is on both of you. Oh, man. I messed up. When I messed up real big, I, what, what was I even thinking? What? I messed up, man. See what you're going to do. Just give them time for the atmosphere to calm down before going back to them again. After that, just own up to your mistake. Don't try to exonerate yourself before them. My brother, take full responsibility and ask for forgiveness. Hmm? Listen, cheer up. Let me take you to Bell Lounge. Let's have some bottles. Cheer up, bro. It could be a blessing in disguise, you know. Listen, it could be twins. <laughs> You're paying, man. You're paying. The bill on me, my brother. <laughs> Benson! Ah. Benson! Why are you coming back at this time? Benson! Are you not hearing me? Hey, Mom. Good evening. Benson, you're making a back call! Benson! So that was how it happened. That was how it happened. I, I'm very sorry for everything. I am. Even before I found out she was pregnant, I already told her I'm not interested in her. Not anymore. I told her this. This, this is just a big mistake. Please. Look, I, I regret everything. Okay. I know I messed up. I messed up big time. Please, allow me to make up for this. Unforgettable mistake. I'm begging you. Uh, you see, young man, to put it mildly, I am highly disappointed in you. How could you? How could you get two women impregnated at the same time? How could you? What sort of irresponsibility is that? No, no way, I can't. I can't allow irresponsible man to marry my daughter, sir, please, I can't. Please, I'm begging you, sir, please. Let me make amend for this. I am begging, I promise it won't happen again. Chelsea is the only person I love. She's the one I want to call my wife. Please, I'm begging you. Chief Aaron, Lady Dorothy, please. It's your daughter, Chelsea, that I know. And my son here has sworn that he loves your daughter very much and would want to spend the rest of his life with her. Please. Uh, see, madam, you see, this thing that you are talking about is very, very messy. It's messy already, and I, and I, I hate scandal. 
Right? I hear scandal, and I don't want to get myself involved with anything that will at least tarnish my image. Sir, no. please, sir, I'm begging you, ma'am. Look, this is a regrettable mistake. I, I will regret this for the rest of my life. I'm begging you, allow me to make amends. I love Chelsea. So, so, so what about the pregnancy? All I owe her is to take responsibility for the child. That's all. That's all. I'll take responsibility for the child. Nothing else. Please. Well, um, this is what will happen. I want to see that lady. Yes. Huh? I want to hear from her directly whether she is interested in you or not. If she is interested in you, then you can go ahead with her. Then you forget about my daughter. She will have the baby here in my house. Sir, please. Please, I'm begging you. Listen, I'm still talking. I cannot... How, do, do, you, do, you, do you hear yourself talk? I cannot allow my daughter to be in a house, in a marriage, where she will be contending for a man Sir. with his baby mama. It can never happen. Sir, I promise you. There will be no contending. I'll be the only man in her life. No contending at all. I promise you because she's the one I love. That lady means nothing to me. Bring her here or no marriage. Simple. What do you want? I will take responsibility for the pregnancy. Good. So, what about us? There is no us. Maureen, there can never be any us. Come on. I've moved on. I'm sorry, but you have to accept that. Okay. Good. There is something I needed to do for me. What is it? My fiance's father wants to meet with you. Why? Yeah, but I told him there's nothing between us. Because he just wants assurance. Look, I made him know that this pregnancy came as a result of the mistake. Okay? It was a mistake what we did. But he needs to see you and hear from you. You need to assure him that you are not interested in me. That's it. But that's a lie. I love you. I love you. Oh, stop this love thing. Stop this loving me thing. I cannot love you. Stop it. I can never love you back. Chelsea is my heartbeat. She's the woman I love. She's, she's the woman I want to get married to. I, I, I will accept the full responsibility of this child, but you have to follow me and go and see her father and denounce every feeling you have for me. Deal? No deal. How did it go? She didn't tell mom. She turned me down. How do you mean? She said she wouldn't accompany me to see anybody. <sighs> what reason did she give? Apparently she's still interested in me. Thunder that will fire. Thunder that will fire that lady is still doing press up. The thunder that will fire that lady is still doing press up. Listen, <laughs> I am going to teach that lady a lesson that she will not forget for the rest of her life. I will teach her a lesson.
What do you want? So, I've realized that you are um, really keen on getting married to your fiance. And honestly, I, I don't intend to be a stumbling block. So, I've changed my mind and I've decided to go with you to your in-law's house and tell him whatever you want me to tell him. Really? No, you're willing to go and you tell them you're not interested in me? Absolutely. But on one condition. What is it? It's been my desire to relocate to the United States. You know, I just want to go to America and, and reside there. But it's been so difficult for me to get a visa. Okay. But recently, two of my friends got visas, two of my married friends. And my agent says the easiest way to get a visa is if you're married. Because it shows that you have ties back home and you're going to come back. So I... I just came to, you know, ask you if you can help me, you know, let's get married. What? <sighs> Sorry, no, I, I actually don't mean marry, marry, like marry. I mean, I need a marriage certificate to procure my visa. So we could just go to a court, you know, just do a registry marriage. I get the certificate and I just travel and then you can get married to whoever you want to get married to. All I need is a certificate. Do you, do you know what that means? We do this, that automatically makes us husband and wife. Oh, come on, Benson. We know that we're not husband and wife. It's just between the both of us. Nobody will know. I just need a certificate for my visa. Then why don't you get, get a fake certificate? You can, ah, you can get it anywhere. No, that one is a no-go area. Like, people that do that even get banned from, you know, getting a visa for years or even for life. My agent told me not to even plow that route at all. Ah, I would have done it now if that was the case. Look, this is just between the both of us. We just get the certificate and I'm gone. Gone. Mm -mm. No. No, no, no. Maureen is a no. Mm -mm. It's a no. no. Okay, oh. if you say so, I beg to take my leave. stupid for real for real man <gasps> but i told you about this the other time yeah i know you said you like him but yeah, so i don't like him but you believe me right now i believe you, you believe me look <laughs> <laughs> oh, this what is are you serious <laughs> <laughs> this guy cracks me up like every time like for damn. real <gasps> oh my god i said i'll get something like this before yeah you said so <laughs> but you still like it yeah it's, it's nice mm, let me see okay it's not bad for real Benson, what are you doing here? I thought I told you not to come here again. What do you want? Benson, leave. Leave here! So what are you saying, Jerry? Is he the one? Don't, don't worry about it. So okay. what are you saying? Okay, Benson, you're fuller now. It's not your sins. <laughs> Okay, you say you're going to give me this cap. You've not gotten it for me yet. I'll get it for you now. When? Wait, this is like your shoes. Yes. Oh, so I'm going to that one any longer. I know, problem. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Gee. <laughs>
How about this? Don't you like this? <laughs> yeah, I do. It's nice too. Wow. Mm. Are you going to maintain it? I will. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, uh, okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Which one are you standing there like that? Didn't you see me? Ah, why did you send for me? Let's do it. Do what? The secret marriage. Hmm. Wow. I'm only doing this because. I want you to get your papers and walk away. Chelsea is the woman I love. She's the one I want to make my wife. Whatever. I'm not interested in all that. The only thing that matters to me right now is to get my visa and leave this country. Like, I need to get the hell out of this place. No pictures. No videos. No body. I repeat, no body must know about this marriage. Hey, calm down. Deal. And make sure the sole purpose of this certificate is to get your papers. Are we clear? Deal.
So, this is the lady. I brought her to you like you requested. Okay, the one that is pregnant for you? Yes, sir. And it took you over a month, almost a month for you to bring her here. Why? Uh, sir, if you remember two weeks ago, I told you she was out of town. She only came back two days ago. Very well then. Um, young lady. Yes, sir. What is your name? My name is Maureen, sir. Maureen. Yes, sir. All right, I understand that you are pregnant for him. Is that true? Yes, very correct, sir. Well, uh, did he promise you marriage? What is the status? I mean, what is the status of your relationship with him? Actually, sir, no, he. He didn't promise me marriage. He's actually my ex. Your ex? Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay, your ex. Uh, well, did he tell you that he has a fiancé and uh, she has pregnant for him right now? No. I mean... Yes, he told me he was getting married to someone else, but I'm not aware of the pregnancy part. Hmm. Well, now that you are pregnant for him, what exactly do you want from him? No, no nothing. I, nothing. I, I just need him to take full responsibility for my unborn child. All right, that is very good. Are you from this city? No, but I live here. Uh, so, she is making plans to relocate to the United States soon. Oh, is that true? Very correct, sir. All right, well, uh, you may go and meet my daughter. Then if she forgives you, then you can go ahead with the wedding plans. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's okay. You're welcome. Oh. Chelsea? Hi. Hey. Hey. I've overheard your conversation with Benson. Why don't you want to forgive him? He doesn't deserve it. I know. But you have to forgive him for your own healing. If you don't forgive him, you remain stuck in the same bitter spot. Hmm? For your well-being. For the sake of the baby in your womb. Please, forgive him. <sighs> okay. What if I decide to forgive him? Does he expect me to take him back? <sighs> forgive him first. That's a first step to take. And then... And then what? <sighs> Maybe... We'll proceed on the wedding plan. What? Juliet! Look, Chelsea. I'm your friend. And you know I won't do anything that will make you happy. I will always tell you the truth. See, humans have their low moments. I'm not trying to make us excuses for his irresponsible act. But then, think about your future. Think about your born baby. Is this what you want for your baby? Hmm? You're gonna forgive him, right? Hey. Um, I'm sorry, I hope I, I, I did not intrude. <gasps> of course you did. <laughs> Benson, what do you want? Say I'm sorry to ask for your forgiveness, babe. And you expect me to forgive you? Babe, look, see, look, I know. I know I I hurt you, I disappointed you. And I'm sorry about this, please. You did not only disappoint me, you killed my trust. 
I don't want to see you again. Get out. Babe, I'm begging you. Just give me a second chance. Let me make it up to you. I promise it will never happen again. Please. Benson, please leave. Babe, this is us. Leave, please. Leave. Why did you leave your door open? Really? I, I didn't know. Good morning. Good morning. P please, sit. I saw your mom at the church. Okay. And what are you doing at home on Sunday morning when you're supposed to be at church? Lately, I, I find myself withdrawing from some of the things I used to do before. I can't give, I can't give a logical an explanation to that. But maybe it has to do with my emotional disposition. I heard she's relocating to the United States. Yes, <coughs> yes, she, she is. I hope you're not funding it. What? No. Never. Babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Look, I have my regrets. I, I shouldn't have gone to see her that day. That, I should have stayed That's home. enough. I have forgiven you. Just don't hurt me again. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Look, I, I swear with all my heart, I will never hurt you. I swear. I promise you that. Are you okay? sure? I promise. Never. I'm so, okay. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so Yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Benson. Yes, so. <laughs> the latest bride in town. There is no other one. <laughs> Make mm -hmm. <laughs> up, please, be fast. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hey, Daddy. Wow. <laughs> you have not still ready yet. We are almost through, Dad. No, you need to hurry up. I know Mr. Benson and his friends and family will be at a venue waiting for us right now. Has he called? Yeah, he, he called me like 10 minutes ago. He said he's about leaving. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> huh? So? Daddy, if he cannot wait for his bride to look beautiful, then he should go marry someone else. Well, if you say so. <laughs> so meet me up when you are done. All right, Daddy. Thank you. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, after today, you will not be clubbing with me again is because that, is, you is are off the market. Is? is that what it is? Oh, Dogu. Oh, Google. Let me keep this one. Hmm? Itozube, when you are ready to join the League of Married Men, I will complete it for you. See, marriage is not a title. In Ibo land. Oh, hey, cool. Get yours up. Come no kwa. Eat yours Come up. no kwa. See, this one is just because our elders are not here. Yes. If not, 
You and I will be in trouble. Man, our people say that. Yeah. Nkoto koto, yeah, nkoto jiwe, nkoto nkoto. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <We're going laughs> <him now. laughs> Let's go. Let me go and pick my bride. Well, okay. Well. Ah. Mm. Ah. If not that you're my friend now, I would have said you should come and open this door. Ah. I would have done that for you. What a first one. I know you would have. <clears throat> Marriage, right? Yes. Oh, right on time. Um, have, have I met you before? Oh, yes. My name is Maureen, Benson's wife. <laughs> Which Benson? The Benson you know, of course. I heard you're also pregnant for him. Wait. You said you are Benson's who again? I said. I am Benson's legally married wife. Oh, you were the lady I met the other day at his office that claimed to be pregnant for him. You're correct. <laughs> How dare you come before me and you're telling me you're Benson's wife. Are you out of your mind? Are you okay? Okay. I'm very okay. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> I am Benson's wife, and this is my proof. <laughs> you must be out of your mind. Okay. Please watch this, please. Go ahead and look at it. Benson is mine. And if you guys continue with this charade, I'll make sure to sue for bigamy. And to avoid your family going through undue embarrassment, stay away from my husband. Jesse, Jesse, it's okay. Please, just compose yourself, okay? It's okay. Just, just cry. So cry. Uh, what happened? Uh, hey, God! What happened? What is it? What happened? How did you get this? Jesus Christ? Babe? Chief? What is going on? Everyone is at the venue waiting and, and, and I'm calling my wife, she's not picking. Babe! Now, will you keep quiet? Will you keep quiet? You bloody little mind. Quiet! Before I descend my, my rot on you. Benson, why will you do that? Why will you do that? Do, do, do it. Yes, your so-called wife brought it here. And let me tell you, you are so lucky 
If it were in those days that I had madness in my head, I would have shattered this your two legs. Nonsense. Where is she? You're mad! You must be really stupid! Hey, keep your voice down! You're stupid to say that! Why? Why did you show them the marriage certificate? Why? Do you know what you've cost oh, me? Please. Stop ranting and rumbling like uh, you're the victim here. I, 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 I hate you so much right now. What were you thinking? Wait. You think you will crash my wedding with Chelsea and I'll be with you? Never. At least the world knows we are married now. So, so you tricked me. You never wanted the marriage certificate for your visa. You're a bloody liar! Oh, please, call me whatever you want to. I am a legally married woman now. You're very heartless. And you're the saint, right? I took in for you. Cut that crap! Cut it! You lured me to your bed, you serpent! Oh, please. We had sex. No! You seduced me. And you had a choice to say no. But instead, you grabbed it. And you had a very good one at that. You know what? I didn't come here to listen to all of this. But I want you to know this. If you think you will crash my wedding with Chelsea, and enjoy your well-being, then you don't know me. Oh. We shall see. like that without putting me in the know. Come on, Benson. What were you thinking? How was I supposed to know that she would use this against me? How? Benson. Benson, what did I just hear that you did? What did I hear that you just did? Mom, just calm down, okay? It's not, it's not what you think. Mom, it's, it's, don't mind what you heard. You're going to marry a lady in the court? And I don't even know? Mom, you don't have to believe what you heard, okay? You have to believe me, I'm your son. That, that lady, she's an opportunity. Will you just shut your mouth? Shut your bloody mouth! I am completely ashamed of you! You just... Okay, you know what? You can marry all the women that you want. But I don't want to see that lady in this house. Do you understand me? Oh, so you, you, you got married and you were deceiving us.
What badness brought you to my house this morning, young man? Good morning, sir. Did I hear you say good morning? Will you keep that stupid good morning to yourself? Let me warn you. This will be the last time I will set my eyes on you. I don't want to set my eyes on you again. Not even talk less of coming close to anything that has to do with my properties. Um, sir, please, just allow me to explain. I never married that lady in court. The marriage certificate she gave to you is fake. And I can prove it. Young man, don't get me mad. Don't get me more mad than as I am right now. Sir. Listen to me. Please, get out of this Sir, house. Sir, please, give me a second. I said get out of I this house. I believe you're a learned man. All I want us to do is to take the marriage certificate to the court registry, let them verify its authenticity. And then we can ask them if they have our names in their record having wedded on the 25th of June. That's all I want. I, are you saying that the, the marriage certificate is fake? Exactly what I'm saying, sir. I will never ever marry that lady. She can never be my wife. This is surely not from this court. It looks so fake. And this is not my signature. I didn't sign this. Are you serious? Mm-mm. This girl fooled us. Ma, please, can you help us check your record? Check if our names are there. The date on the certificate says 25th of yes. June 2022. Mm -hmm. Please help us check. Okay. One minute. From 25th, this is 23rd, 24th, 24th, 24th. Mm -hmm. The name again. We didn't conduct any wedding on the 25th of June. It's blank. I'm so sorry. I was not waiting on the 25th Just, of June. Sorry not to disturb you. Uh, maybe you should check for some other records. Probably there will be something there. Okay. Just to clarify. Of course. I will. Um, you can just go through it yourself. I'll be right back. Checked all the files. No record. Jesus Christ. Why did the registrar deny giving us a certificate? And why are our names not on the marriage registry? He also claims that no marriage was done on the 25th of June. But we got married Stop. on... Stop living in delusion, my friend. I never got married to you or to anyone on the 25th of June. Are you suddenly suffering from dementia? Shut up. Let me educate you on what you don't know. You think you're smart. 
Huh? <laughs> I was right to trust my feelings. And I thank God I never underestimated you. <laughs> You're just a bloody schemer. Wait. Did you ask the registrar to to give us a fake certificate? I didn't tell anyone to give us any fake marriage certificate. As a matter of fact, I manufactured that marriage certificate, signed it, and gave it to him to give to us. Mom, I need you to understand that this girl is trying to blackmail me into marrying her. I don't want to marry her. Please, I need your help. I am so sorry. There's nothing I can do to help you. It's against the law. I understand that. Well, of course, I'm willing to compensate you for your troubles. Even at that, I don't think I can help you. It's illegal. How does 200,000 naira sound? Like I said, I can't help you. I'm so sorry. 250. Um, the thing is, you know, because it's against the law. 300k. Three. Um. Mm. <coughs> Nobody is a fool. Not even me. You have no right! You have no right to do this to me! I beat you at your own game. I know it sucks, right? You are evil, Benson. <laughs> evil! Coming from the devil. Listen, I owe you nothing but to take care of that child in your womb. That's all. You're a loser, all right? Get out of my office. never any marriage between I and any lady. You are the only one I've always wished to be called my wife. And you know why? Because nobody can ever take your place in my heart. And the love I have for you is unexplainable. When we were no longer together, it was as if there was this... My world was shattered and I... I love you. I love you more. Please don't hurt me again. I promise I will never, ever hurt you. Come here.
Okay, Miko, are you done? Yes. Okay, just stand up, let me take a picture. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just, just, so I can capture everything where. Okay. So what's the word? Hold on, wait. Uh -huh. That one? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. 